Okay, so Tyler, you just transitioned from retail to wholesale. How did that go? It was, it was quite a process. So I'm about a year into the whole side of things. And I would definitely say that things have been on the up and up. There's a lot of things that I would tell past Tyler of what to do. That way he wouldn't run into this, the same roadblocks. But overall, super fantastic start and couldn't be more excited for the future. So when it comes to retail versus wholesale, what made you want to switch? So there's definitely a couple things. With retail, you don't really have that much flexibility, autonomy, and you don't call the shots. It was something where I felt really good about my process when I was on the retail side of things, but I just didn't have the flexibility and ability to give my borrowers the absolute best when it comes to different programs, pricing, you know, things of that nature. So I'd say those were the biggest things that made me want to switch, but also I wanted to run my own business and being able to do that on the wholesale side. Yes, I have the brokerage around me, but Tyler gets to run Tyler's business. However, Tyler sees fit. So how do you feel about running your own business and how has like X2 helped you do that? Once you jump in, it's definitely daunting because you're starting from scratch. But X2 has definitely been able to help me out by making sure that I have a dedicated processor who's there to hold my hand every step of the way. And whenever I have questions, whether it comes to how to set up the loan, um, the specific lender that I'm going to take it to, or once I'm in process, what's next, I definitely have the support and I've never felt abandoned at all. And so it's really nice to know that I just have that sense of community around me that actually wants me to succeed, not just because it's gonna help me grow, but it helps grow the, the company brand as well. You mentioned that it was daunting kind of starting your own business. What were some of the factors that you paid close attention to making the switch? There's definitely a couple things that go into, am I gonna make the switch from retail to wholesale that, that kind of had me on the edge? And the first one was just, how am I gonna get paid? So in the retail space, you basically log in uh, you press a button, you get a call, and once you sell that deal, you get paid. So that was very consistent. It was comfortable, but I knew that there was uh, a ceiling and I knew I could get past that ceiling if I went to the other side. The daunting thing is how am I going to start a relationship with a realtor, a financial advisor, an estate, a planner, and make sure that they can trust me enough to send their clients that they have a relationship with to me so that I can help them out. And once you get over that fact, and truly believe in yourself to be able to have that personality and be able to make those relationships, sky's the limit. Other than pay and being able to start your own business, what are some other key differences between the two? Definitely the ability to help anybody who wants help. I can't tell you how many times I've told people point blank, you don't qualify because the company that I was at didn't have a product for their needs. Whereas on the wholesale side, yeah, there's a ton of different options. And yes, you do have to put your head down and figure out what all of those are. But that what that means is you can help anyone. If, if there's somebody who has under a 500 credit score, you can help them. If there's somebody who has a whole bunch of money but no job experience, you can help them. So I'd say the ability to truly have a yes before no mindset is unmatched. Lastly, what would you recommend to someone thinking about making the switch right now or is just on the fence? Like, what would you recommend to them? It's a good question and it's actually something I'm super passionate about. I truly do think that on this side of the lending space, the sky is the, the limit. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what to do, but I would definitely give two pieces of advice. Don't just figure out what you're gonna do, but also ask yourself, how am I gonna do this and get kind of granular about it because everybody has these ideas of, oh yeah, I'm gonna hit up my past client or, oh, I'm gonna ask my friends and family, but they don't know how they're gonna do it. And I think when you put those two pieces together, you really do start to create a business plan, create goals just like your manager would in the past, but hold yourself accountable to it because on this side, you don't have a manager who's gonna hold your hand and say, hey, you didn't hit your numbers, we're gonna put you on a pip. Right. But instead, it's gonna be, you know, hey, this is my business, this is what I wanna achieve, this is what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it. And I truly think when you put your head down, you focus on those things, you're gonna have a, a very fruitful business at the end of the day.